Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, I I wasn't here yesterday, so I know Lonnie pulled orders, and um, yeah, we're gonna splice that into this video. Do you want to do it now? Okay, I gotta pull orders by myself this morning, so wish me luck. Uh, to Charlie, we sold this check valve, ball valve thing, whatever you want to call it. And I think it's definitely worth a lot more money than what we got. I think it's in here. However, I think most people that are going to buy this for like the real money, they're going to have to like, like if you, if you were buying this for some industrial application of some sort, you're not going to buy from some guy on eBay. You're going to buy from your approved vendor because that has to be right. Like, like if something goes wrong with that and something really expensive or horrible happens and then they do a, they do an investigation and say, oh, well, you bought this from Shed Flips on eBay. What were you thinking? That would not go well for them. <laughs> so that sold for $22.49. That was a Kevin and Danielle buy there. Uh, three Bravo Expositors, word for everyday swaggered. Supposed to be on this shelf, which I thought was all cookbooks. There are some Bible things over here. Those are, oh, here it is. I got it. Okay. Wouldn't expect it to be quite that small. Expositor's word for every day. Uh, daily devotional Jimmy Swagger. Okay, got it. Uh, this sold for $14.99. Another Kevin and Danielle thing. All right, on one Echo, we sold some cycling shoes. Uh, Charlotte Delta Echo, uh, right here. Here we go. These took way longer than I thought. We, I mean, we had to put them on sale and stuff. I thought these would sell fast. Uh, these sold for twenty-two forty-nine plus shipping on top. I think we paid. I think we paid five at a garage sale, but it could have been less. Okay, in Beverly drawer, we sold Tekken, Tekken Tournament or something like that. The Tekken Tag Tournament Tournament 2 sold for $10.99 plus ship. And on 3 Charlie, we sold in, man, I don't even want to say it. I'm going to put Candace saying it in right here. Italian. Okay, yeah, we sold one of those. <laughs> for $29.99 plus shipping on top. The first 50 or so we sold at 40 a piece and um, now I just keep it on a 25% off sale all the time. Alrighty, on eight Delta we sold a couple of Turvis mugs. Uh, oh no, we do. I looked up here and I saw those mugs. I'm like, oh, they must put, put the wrong shelf, but no, there are a couple on Delta also. Okay. This is one of Candace's little niches she picked up I know, probably about a year ago. And sure enough, a lot of times when we go out to garage sales, we'll see this these Tervis mugs or cups, whatever you want to call them. And I mean, they're, they don't make a killing, but they're worth picking up especially like at garage sales anything we can pick up is good by the time we plan like candace spends all that time planning the route and then we spend the time and gas money and everything getting to the sale we like to try and buy as much as possible you know as long as it makes sense okay this this is the one of the things that we probably could have gotten Candace and I talked about this. Here we go. It's this hat. Sports specialties hat. Candace and I talked about this hat. We went back and forth. Candace made the listing and we were going back and forth on the price. She found a comp for this exact hat um, from a couple of years ago for $125. And 
I said, well, I think you should do at least that. And then she said, well, maybe I should go a little higher. Maybe I should push it to 150. And I agreed with her, but then I was like, you know what? If we got 125, I would be very happy. So we actually got like three messages. One person asked if we would take 60. Somebody else asked if we would take 100. Somebody else asked if we would take like 80. And uh, we just decided to hold, hold the line for a while and see if, we, if, you, if you start, if you list something and you start getting messages and stuff right away, uh, typically you will sell it at full price if you wait. Unless your price is just stupid and, I, and ours wasn't. And uh, sure enough, a little while later, somebody bought it full price. Actually, one of the people that asked the question bought it at full price. Okay, next we sold a Build-A-Bear thing. It's like a pony, I think. It's right here. I can sneak it through this other shelf. I think this is the right one. It's a My Little Pony. Yeah, this is it. Uh, sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. We've done pretty well with the Build-A-Bear stuff. Some more shoes. One Foxtrot. We don't sell a ton of apparel, but we do... We sell a... We sell a respectable, respect, 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 respectable, respectable. Oh my God. I couldn't say that word for a minute. That was scary. A respect, I still can't say it. Respectable, respectable, respect. Wow. This is crazy. I, I started trying to, we sell a respectable, respectable. I swear, I swear I was have. I can't. I say I was having trouble saying that word. A respect, respectable. A res, we sell, we do sell a respectable. We do sell a pretty good many shoes though. Um, these sold for twenty nine ninety nine. I want to say Candace paid seven for these at a garage sale. I think that's right. And then while I was pulling that stuff with y'all. We had another really good sale come in that I would prefer to go ahead and get out of here. To go ahead and lock that sale in. And that is for, believe it or not, this, I, I, I'm simply, I'm stunned by this market for these Game Boys. The screen on this is so clean too. This is not even a 101 model. This is a 001. And we got, and it does come with the original charger and a case, nice little case, but we got $119.99. $119.99 for that thing. And I can remember, I want to say it was like 2017 used to find these like these were fairly common to find at garage sales back then and i would typically you would pay like two dollars two to five dollars for one and you'd sell it for like 30 and now these damn things are going for 120 it's insane to me <laughs> so anyway that's gonna that's everything that is going out today and it is the next day now and uh, Candace, well, we had another family thing we had to take care of. Uh, everything's fine. And, but Candace was out of commission yesterday. Nothing's wrong with her. No, I'm fine. She was with a family member, so. Yeah. Um, which is good, we had the flexibility. I, I was in here working not very long. So C Candace was at a hospital for someone else, and then I went, Swapped off. We swapped out, and then yeah, yeah it, it's just been a mess the past couple of days. Yeah. So everything seems to be back to normal now. So on to the regular routine. Yep. So um, today we have let's see, twelve, um, eleven items going out on eBay, and we do have an Etsy sale. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on pulling those. Okay. All right. First item on MU8 is a water filter. Oh, that's behind me. MU8. Greta. Uh, Aquaview open box. 
Yeah, I hope it's this one. It's the only water filter on this shelf. $12.99 for that. Okay. Uh, six Bravo Air Force coffee mug. The one that likes to live life dangerously. Oh. Yeah, it's been like hanging on the edge. It's always teetering around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be sad to see it go. This is actually a viewer sale. Sold that for $11.24. They, they, it was actually a viewer sale. They, they wanted me to, um, to, to throw, to smash this thing <laughs> and then say, go Navy. Oh, you can't do that. And I was like, no, sorry, can't do that. <laughs> God. Lonnie was in the Air Force. Yeah, then I was in the Air Force. I'm not going to smash an Air Force mug and then yell, go Navy. Yeah, that that sorry, that's a no-go. Yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> but they decided to buy it anyway. Okay. All right, three Bravo. We sold those antelope gazelle thing. Yeah, that was a good little sale. Where did we get these? Do you remember? We bought them at a garage sale. They had them for ten dollars. Oh, I paid seven fifty, huh? Yeah, they were like. Which was probably still too high, but they ended up no. selling, selling them for forty-five. No, I'd say that's pretty good. That's yeah. a good profit margin, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about paying that much, not knowing what they sell for. Yeah. You know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wanted to pay five. Yeah. But All right, do we it. do have two Italiana going out. Okay. I think I tried to say it. Yeah. I tr you pulled an order yesterday. Yeah, we pu I pulled one yesterday. Ooh, I can't wait to see that footage. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, next time we go to storage, we do need to grab okay. four or five more. All they're, right. they're just slowly getting out of here. These both both sold for 30, right? Yes, 30 each. Okay. In the Joe drawer, Xbox 360 Dynasty Warriors, eight. $10 for that. I think that's the only. Yep, that's it. Okay. Oh, we have a video game order we need to combine. I need to combine shipping on, too. Is there... I think it's the next It's the next three things coming up. Okay. Yep. Um, MU8 again. Uh, Xbox 360. Record of Agarest War. Okay. Got it. This game right here. $12. Okay. Also an MU8 Rocket Arena for Xbox One. $6. Good. I love selling these games. Now that I'm putting them in these drawers... Like they take up a lot of room, I guess, in the drawer. And then in a 4CL-Y3, mm -hmm. Ford Bold Move Street Racing. Yeah. No Might be able to get to it. Fort, Fort Charlie? Yeah. I see it here. Y3. Yep. That's it. Bold Move Street Racing. $6 for that. Okay. And I'm going to combine shipping on those three. Alrighty. Uh-oh. What? I don't have a location for this next thing. What is it? I'm sure it's in a drawer. It's some of those little baby Muppet. Um, oh, you just listed those. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to be in a drawer. Let's see if I can find them. All right. We got we to gotta cut. So you, did you get lucky right away? No, of course not. I'll look over here. Wait, is this them? No. No, that's not them. Yeah. You get, you got them? Yep. Okay. Digimon drawer. Alright, what did those sell for? Those? I never cut, I was recording the whole time. Oh, those way. sell for $12. Okay. Oh, also in the Digimon drawer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doom for S for SNES. Yeah. That is a good game. $50. Wow, yeah. That's the last thing that sold on eBay? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look. Look how little the bench is. <laughs> I know. I mean, it wasn't, a, it, it wasn't a great sales day yesterday by any stretch, obviously. But, man, that is small. Yep. And the next thing is not going to add much to it because it's a Walmart pen. <laughs> this is uh, Etsy, right? Etsy. Okay. 60. It's a Princess Diana pen. 60? 
man that's we've how many you know we've sold a ton of princess diana what's another one we sold a lot of there's one we kept selling over and over But yeah, we Princess Diana Walmart pens are apparently all the rage. And we had a lot of them. And we did. We what? We had, must have had like eight or nine or something like that. Uh, this one's over twelve plus shit. All right. Yep. That is uh, in memory of Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. And does it say Walmart on it somewhere? Uh, no, I don't think so. But it, but it is Walmart. Yeah, they did do. I mean, there are some Walmart pins that don't say Walmart if there's special things like that, or it may have been like promoting some a release of a movie on DVD or something. You know. Yeah. Just sometimes they didn't. Well, we have I have challenging pack days sometimes, but uh, not today. I expect <laughs> you'll be done in about 15 minutes. Yeah, it ain't gonna take long. <laughs> okay, packages are away, and we went out to the truck, got a a little more of the Kevin and Danielle stuff. Yeah, we're wrapping up the last stuff we showed y'all. Uh, I've got the two Build-A-Bears I'm working on, and then we have this stuff left. This might take a while. Like, I tried. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna put that like on the uh, Tiger Droppings yeah. website and see if somebody. I went through trying to cross post because they all have their signature and number, and uh -huh. I couldn't do anything. So I'll, I'll mess with that later. But yeah, we do have some other small stuff. Um, yeah, let's thought... let's pull it out of here. All right, we got everything unpacked and uh most of it is going to be fairly low value stuff yeah like we have some books here these i mean they're decent because they are signed but we have two of the same book both signed we have some muppets books we have a tyndale one-year bible and then these are these are a bunch of books that are specifically for kids that are hemo what hemophilic H hemophiliacs yeah yeah so that's what all these are yeah i mean that that's probably about 20 to 25 dollars worth of books right here yeah. some, somewhere like that and then this book right here is a vocabulary builder okay i don't know we didn't look that up no. or anything we have a complete series king of queens dvd set and just a bunch of knickknack stuff uh this is kind of neat yeah do y'all remember these flip these flip calendars from back in the day you do the uh the month and day and then to change the date you just flip it i have cool. I, don't had, I don't remember those you don't remember those mm -hmm. man I, I i had i had a couple of those when i was Did a you? kid yeah most souvenir shops would have Mm. Or a lot of souvenir shops would have like, you know, obviously they would just be private branded, whatever they were. And just change out the label. Yeah. 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 But there's, you know, that, that's probably like 10 to $15 or 10 to $20 little thing there. We have a few more of those uh, pottery stoneware type mugs. Yeah. The, we're talking long tail stuff here. Yeah. Um, this is interesting. It's it's made in Chile and it has 1987 on it. It's like hand sign, like hand etched sign by mm. the maker. Yeah, the artist. That's cool. um, Little touristy souvenir boomerang thing made in Australia. Uh, incense burner. It's like a little a little Adobe house incense burner. Yeah. I don't know. There is a market. I looked that up briefly. That might be a fifteen dollar thing. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is going to be in at that kind of level. Um, these I don't know anything about. I don't know if they're worth anything. There's no markings on them. Well, this, honestly, this one has India on it. Honestly, a lot of this stuff I would never buy. No. It, I would not buy this unless you know something about it, like anti antiquities or something. I, yeah. I, I would just well, I wouldn't know anything about it. I would just wouldn't buy it. These are from Disney's uh, Alani um, Resort in Hawaii, and Lonnie found two solds. No, he found a sold with four buttons for twenty-five, so we figured ten for these. Yeah, two. something like that. Have not looked this up. Playing card set with a duck on it. Yeah, it's got like the little double deck. And then these are kind of these are kind of uh, this was a good part of the buy here. I did see these are um, uh, what Danbury yeah, Mint. Mm -hmm decoy collection by george cruz yeah and um i saw the these probably go for 20 to 30 a piece okay and it looked like they're in pretty good condition too like yeah i would expect this to be broken if anything and right. it's not yep 
So, we do have, oh, we, we, do we have damage here. Yep. That one probably is not going to be something we can sell. Yeah. The rest of them look pretty good just yeah. looking at them. So, that's a pretty good little portion of the buy. And I didn't look Ugh. this up either. I know Bonnie hates this kind of stuff. I do because I do, it's, yeah. it's never worth anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's The Maker's Mark has a crown with JJ in the middle. Not sure where it was made or when. Haven't looked it up. Yeah. So, so but, you know, like we got some good stuff from that last buy and then we got some of this kind of stuff a bunch of small stuff here. a bunch of yeah stuff we wouldn't probably buy this and i told him that when i was look when i was kind of sizing everything up i'm like look this kind of stuff i would not even buy that so i'm not really valuing no. this part like it, it, not all of this stuff because like like i said the ducks are pretty decent some of the stuff we didn't even look up we're just kind of that that would be considered like a throw-in right you know because we weren't, wouldn't be willing to pay for that at any price really right right so we are going to uh still got to list it and um we do like i mean i like selling smalls they're but, fun to pack huh well they're fun to pack and then plus the small stuff um, that can help you out in between your larger sales, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. So, all right, we're going to get started listing this stuff now. Okay. I've been listing these, uh, Danbury mint ducks. I think I listed them for 35, 35, 30 and 25. So that's pretty decent. But then I did have this one I was showing y'all earlier that I said I was surprised that tail feather was good. I missed that big, big crack right in the middle of it. So that has damage. This has some chipped tail feathers, as you can see there. And then this one has a chip on his tail feather too. So unfortunately I have to sell these um, flawed as is. Probably gonna do like, I'm listing right now. I think I'm gonna probably do like 30 bucks for the whole lot. Okay, we have been, uh in here listing all these little knickknacks and whatnot <laughs> it's a knickknack day it is like 20 to 35 dollar items right yeah right and uh, probably a lot of them are gonna be long tail but we've done that plenty before yep. um i think we're pretty much wrapping up i did i did look i took a break just now and i looked in the reseller water cooler facebook group somebody posted a screenshot of this and I'll put the screenshot up too. This is actually from eBay community page, which is kind of like a a forum where sellers can can go in and post and then also uh eBay themselves will post there too. Which I think this is from eBay, right? That's from eBay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the the only reason I bring this up, this is the first mention I've I actually sent a message to eBay for business on Facebook last week asking them if they had any guidance about the new postal rates or you know what are they doing to get ready what's going on and they said nope nothing to say right now I'm like okay <laughs> but um they they did at least mention it in the eBay community thing yes this uh, came out yesterday yesterday and they're they're talking about the price changes and stuff and it looks like to me, it looks like um, the we, we talked about this in a video a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. the coming price changes, and it looks like that's what it's going to probably be. And eBay is saying they're going to be ready to go on July 9th. Right. They're just giving everybody a heads up that this is coming. Yeah. Wow. So uh, the, the only the only thing that's weird to me, the only thing that's a little bit worrisome for me is that We've had first class package, parcel, priority, just like it currently is for a very long time on the eBay site. I'm just a little leery of how they're going to handle. Yeah, what are they going to do like to convert those or are they going to leave it up to us? What are the logistics right. behind that? that? And that's why I reached out to eBay for business, even though they weren't willing, willing or able to give me any information last week. So we'll see. But uh, we're just gonna keep on like, keep on waiting to see like what kind of information they put out there. I'm hoping the roll into ground advantage, which is the new combination of first class and parcel, yep. is going to um, is gonna be seamless. But who knows? 
who knows stay stay tuned <laughs> but here's a screenshot I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link to this post down below so y'all could take a look at it for yourself if you like yeah they're just basically um announcing there's going to be rate changes and at the very bottom they mention ups ground advantage and that it will combine the three um and more information to follow which means they don't know what they're doing they don't yet. know what they're going to do yet. that i mean that part at the bottom at the bot the part at the bottom of the screenshot really kind of worries me because i mean we're not that far out no we're only what weeks. like less than two weeks out from this or about two weeks out as yeah. we film this video It'd be less than that by the time this this airs uh man i hope they don't screw this up please yeah. don't please don't we please. have a lot of items in that uh range <laughs> oh, that we live in that range yeah. so <laughs> but yeah that's going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye